Tell me what Winton called that. The toy. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, John Baptiste was on stage with us on this very stage exactly one year ago. He did social music, and yes. he also did the concept of jazz. Ooh. And uh, in the audience was the executive producer of the Colbert Report. Said, why don't you come on the Colbert Show? And then you did this amazing show. You went out in the street. Tell yeah. me about that. Well, we took the studio audience out into the street, which is something they had never done before. And it was obviously what we call in New Orleans a second line, but I call it a love ride where it can erupt anywhere. You take music and the band and the people move with you. And it's just a very powerful experience. You know? And something else that had never happened before, I think, Stephen Colbert danced. <laughs> and he it fell. He fell. It looked like he had never done it before. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He was dancing in the suit, started doing a bug jump, trying to do his thing. Then he fell all the way back. <laughs> Boom. What were you playing? We were playing a song that I wrote, uh, the composition called I Feel Good, I Feel Free. And that's on your social music album? Or? Yeah, well, the first part of it was Express Yourself, and then we went into I Feel Good. And so, thank you. And so, John, um, Stephen Colbert yeah. kind of liked it. And then he, what did he do? Call Because this story has an ending, which most of you already know, which is he becomes the band leader for the new late night show on CBS. So. Yeah. Whoa, where you at there, man? Yeah, as a very bad narrator, <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, spoil the ending. But you might be wondering, why is he asking all these questions? Because you didn't know Colbert until no, this no, stage and Emily brought you there, right? Yeah, I didn't know him. And, and, you know, after we did that interview, it's still up actually on the site. You can check him out on Comedy Central site. We had this rapport where he threw the cards away, threw the questions, and he'd be like, what you think of that? You like that? You into that? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so, so he would think <laughs> yeah. you're real smart, right? <laughs> right, right. So, yeah, was he man. in character when he was talking to you? No, okay. no, no. Only on camera. OK. The, the, the character drops when the cameras go off. But when they come on, whoa. And who are your predecessors? <laughs> there for 33 years. That's a good long time. So you plan to be for 33 years? Right? I mean, that's more years than I've been born. Oh, right. <laughs> that's a long time. So at some point after many interviews, does he, what does he do? Say, I want to make you the band leader? He called me, and I was in the studio. In, uh, I, I'm living in New York, so I was in the studio in Lower East Side, and I was doing some stuff. And he called me up, and he's like, hey, man. Stephen Colbert, I'm about to go on a 10-day vacation, but when I come back, let's talk. Suspense. So it's, like, it's like, okay, cool. So he comes back. We sit down. We have a long meeting about more concepts and ideas. It's like four hours long. And then after that, the next morning, he calls me. He's like, hey, man, are you in? Can you come to the office again? And that time, I was in St. Louis. Uh, yeah, I was in St. Louis. So I, I was wondering uh, why he wanted me to come back so soon. We had for a real long time. And uh, he says, well, let me just put you on speakerphone. And he says, um, congratulations. We want to offer you the job. It's your gig if you want it. Let us know. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. So what did you say, yes? I was like, yeah, man, that sounds <laughs> <Yeah. bad." laughs>